Today I want to talk about jack planes and they come in a variety and how do you pick which one is best for you? Because you probably don't want to buy multiple ones unless you're really into hand tools. Uh, I own a whole bunch of them and I'll tell you which ones I recommend and why and maybe that'll narrow down for you so that you don't have to buy so many tools in order to get the job done. As always, if you like this video, we hope you'll hit the like button and we hope you'll subscribe also so we can keep you informed about uh, future videos on uh, related woodworking topics. So, what is a jack plane? There's a lot of confusion even about what a jack plane is. If you go to a big box store or a catalog or whatever and look up jack plane, you're liable to get any one of these planes. Uh, and these planes in the Stanley numbering system, these two are number fours. This is a number five. This is a number six. This is a number seven. Any of these could be referred to loosely as a jack plane. In the industry though, in the woodworking business, the only two of these planes that are jack planes are these two right here, the number five and the number six. The number four I use it's called a smoothing plane, not a jack plane. And it's called a smoothing plane because it's good at smoothing a surface once you've gotten it milled the way you want it. And it's pretty close to flat and it's fairly smooth. Uh, but this thing takes fairly light shavings. And so it would take you a long time to do a lot of uh, milling of wood uh, to get it to be the right shape and size. Uh, this plane is very long and very heavy, and it's called a jointer plane. Some people might call it, mistakenly call it, a jack plane, and it is not. It's specifically designed to make, uh, to smooth out undulations in the edge of boards so that you can glue those together without leaving gaps. And it, 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 it does that, it's able to do that because of the extreme length. It's totally flat and quite long, and so it either takes off the tops of ridges or smooths out the edges around a gully. But this is not really a jack plane. The planes that are jack planes, this is a number five and a number six, and these are the two that are uh, correctly called jack planes. Jack planes are, the use of a jack plane is to remove quite a bit of wood to get your board milled, either the edge or the top surface, to get that board milled the way you want it milled. And the way this is done, if you are wanting to do a wide surface, I use something uh, else to hold it. So using this surface to hold it, I plane along the length like this and take off fairly thick shavings uh, and fairly wide shavings. And what I can do is I can reduce the thickness of the board or smooth this out. And I can do that with either one of these planes, either a number five or a number six. And the difference, the difference is both the width and the length. So the number six takes a wider shaving and it can smooth things very nicely, but it's a heavier, more awkward plane. So I would recommend for you, for a jack plane, to start with a number five. This number five is a good versatile one, does what I just showed you on the flat surfaces. And it's also quite good for removing a lot on the edge grain. So you can take this board down pretty quickly with a jack plane. So the two planes here that I have here that are called jack planes are the number five and the number six. There's actually one in between these, a five and a half. Uh, I recommend you get the five, and this is a very versatile jack plane. So, if you liked what you saw, please hit the like button, and we invite you to subscribe so we'll keep you uh, informed of future videos.